photosynthesis. In this module, you will learn about the basics of photosynthesis. All living things require food. Humans and animals eat other animals or plants as food. But plants cannot eat like humans or animals. Plants obtain food by preparing it on their own by a process called photosynthesis. Only green plants carry out photosynthesis. The word photosynthesis is made up of two words, photo and synthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means making or putting together. Photosynthesis begins with light striking the leaves of plants. Both sunlight and artificial light, such as from lamps, are suitable for photosynthesis. Chlorophyll is a green pigment found in chloroplasts present in the cells of leaves. The chloroplasts absorb and store the energy from light. The stored energy is then further utilized in the process of food manufacture. Carbon dioxide and water serve as the raw materials for photosynthesis. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air. The carbon dioxide enters plants through pores called stomata present on the surfaces of their leaves. Plants absorb water from the surrounding soil with the help of root hair present on their roots. Water absorbed by the roots is then transported to the leaves through the stem. The glucose produced during photosynthesis is carried through special tubes to different parts of a plant. In this module, you have learnt the following. Green plants prepare their food by a process called photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, light energy trapped by leaves is changed into chemical energy. Plants require four things for photosynthesis. Light energy, chlorophyll, carbon dioxide and water. Chloroplasts contain the green pigment chlorophyll. They absorb and store light energy which is utilized in the process of food manufacture. Carbon dioxide enters the leaves through pores called stomata from the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide reaches chloroplasts and combines with water to form glucose. Formation of glucose utilizes energy stored in chloroplasts. Plants absorb water from soil through the root hairs present on roots. Water is then transported to leaves through stem.